guys will just start our deck tour from after the ship uh, it's not really have you can see it's after of accommodation and it's the part of accommodation here you have you can see the boat also of different compartments and spaces inside the accommodation and uh, next thing what we have is you can see some different types of pipelines here and sounding pipes like you can see which you have a forming around it which is to face some oil or something overflows we don't go outside our ship and uh, the other spaces like normal void spaces and metal stands you don't have that forming or containers thing alongside of this so as these pipelines so as we introduce from the pipeline we can say these are the deck spray system pipeline the ice cream system has some deck spray system is provided throughout the ship in specific places like tank rooms and all where uh, as a safety part to uh, extinguish fire or something in case if something happens or to give as a protection valve for uh, the firefighters coming to this and uh, now we have the pipelines as you can see this big valve over here this one is our IG and RV valve which takes IG to our hold spaces and uh, if required to our tanks where after gas spraying when we want to inert the tank uh, during purging and all we need to put IG into the cargo tank when we use that or else to hold spaces we can use that one next one what we have is you can see this to our uh, as it's covered these two are two gas spring fans is having very big capacity of 10,000 meter cube of air this can be placed in one hour so we have two gas spring fans these two fans can be we have a spring line being just up here and a motor room and sofa block in front of us and now we'll be heading towards the uh, compressor room which is situated around 10-15 meters forward of our accommodation and you can see our two is removing our anti piracy laser wires right now. We just exited HRA. That's why that is this compressor room. What we have, and you can see a compressor room. We have completely three compressors on board. I have done a special video on uh, these compressors. You guys can just walk it through that to know more about these compressors and how this thing works. Next thing, let's proceed forward on the We have totally four cargo tanks in the ship. This is a VLGC, very large gas carrier of around 58,000 feet. And uh, now let's get into the tank dome and uh, let's get familiar with what all we have on a tank dome of a gas carrier. Coming to it uh, from outside, you can see we have mouths. Uh, this is the relief valve systems on board gas tankers normally. And uh, we have the settings kept in it. You can see it is 27.5 at sea and harbor it's 40 kb. It's kept high in harbor because uh, during loading and discharging operation there can be instances where the pressure can be raised at all and about, about 27.5 and we don't want the marks to be uh, put up on that time that's why we keep it in uh, harbor mode in ports and at sea we will keep it at 27.5 kb. and the measurement of this kpa is like uh, as we know the bar 100 bars, 100 bars is uh, 1 bar is equal to 100 kb and uh, we can see in the tank conditions like minimum temperature of cargo that we can load on this tank is minus 50 degrees inches and maximum density that we can do is 0.61 next thing what we have is you can see as you can see here uh, these are cargo tank monitoring panels these are the local something uh, the local reading will be taking can see the whole space pressures, temperatures at uh, different levels, 0% uh, and 100% uh, and vapor temperatures, port and starboard mainly. These are the sensors of it. And we have emergency stop at each tank domes and uh, in various spaces also in this ship we have around 18, total 18 emergency stop and uh, we have some fusible flags also. I will show you the most now. Next thing, this one is in front of you is this cold space exit. Like uh, if you are gasping or something, you keep it open so that it gets ventilated easily. Four spaces. Next, now we will get into the tank dome. 
this is the Ruby Hatch of Tangtown uh, in which we will be entering in uh, Trido we just entered into the tank and we have seen inside the tank a beautiful place. Next you can see these are the top spray and bottom spray normally we see. This the function of this is like when your tank is full we always put it in uh, bottom spray and when your tank is empty you always put this in top spray for cooling down the cargo tank when you uh, have this is the exit of our compressor after cooling down we put it into tank using these two inlets uh, the one is top spray and one is bottom spray mainly if you want to decrease the pressure inside the tank you need to put through bottom spray and uh, if you want to cooling down and uh, during ballast voyage you want to condition the cargo tank then you need to put through your top spray and we can adjust it into its manual values 0% and 10% and all we can just adjust it that way next thing what we have is uh, this is a web liquid line and this is starboard side inlet and similarly you can see port side inlet also there on that side so this one is a inlet to our cargo tank when we are loading we use uh, this hydraulic valve we can be operated from CCR and this valve we will be keeping it to 10, 15, 20 percent and we are putting in the cargo this line is uh, heading from manifold to tank we will have to line up that thing and we get to next thing what we have is our cargo pumps there is a deep well pump on board uh, this ship so you can see this is the outlet of deep well pump you have suction from both them and you take it you keep it normally this is a centrifugal dive pump you need to keep uh, the outlet valve shut when you start the pump then you slowly open so that you get a bit of suction and uh, pull out the uh, and uh, otherwise the pumps go dripping so it's better to do that way and you can see it's the outlet and uh, it's some recirculation mode what we can do is like we can take it through this line and uh, we can put it back in the tank if you want to recirculate the cargo and all next thing what checks what we do before using the pump is that we need to open and uh, we need to rotate this thing and we need to make sure that your pump is rotating freely not stuck because during uh, discharging you should not be having any trouble this what is covered here is your actuator of the pump which maintains the textile pressure uh, inside your pump shaft that uh, won't allow the gas to come out and this is the control box where you start you have the switch inside where you start your cargo pumps and next thing what you can see is these are the your bulkhead valves of the tank this can be used when uh, in ports like you need to equalize your tank uh, then you will be opening these bulkhead valves to adjust in mostly you will be adjusting the ballast only but in case if you require to maintain equal in both port and starboard tanks you can see it's have a partition then you open the bulkhead valve and you make it even next thing uh, we have four, total four tanks you cannot open more than two bulkhead valves at a time the reason is because uh, there is effect of free surface when you open two then uh, it's limited to some value still there will be free surface since the cargo is moving from port to starboard but it is tolerable like if you open two tanks it's under control and if you open three tanks it can go violent that's why to prevent free surface effect and does it the thing you don't open more than two bulkhead valves at a time next thing uh, these are the draft gauges uh, draft gauges which we use to or you say we need to take the sounding uh, for calculation of cargo this is a fixed system on board these gas carriers where you have it so as you can see this is our fixed gauge on a gas tankers cargo tank you can see the sounding which can be read and you have a port to lower and raise your port to lower and raise your soundings so when you have completed loading your operation and your ceiling we have to put it up otherwise there is a very thin wire going down it can get damaged so that to prevent that we keep it up and when in port and Angerage, if you want to calculate the cargo, we will put down. Uh, we just have to put the handle what we have in a CCR and just rotate it. As you can see, the down. If you rotate in that direction, it goes down and uh, wears out. Cargo is it senses and give you the sounding over here. Also, you get the local uh, reading, local reading you get from here, and you have a reading 
in CCR which you can use to calculate your carbon. Next thing you can see on starboard side and port side, port side we have this top spray and bottom spray and your liquid inlet valves similarly. Next thing is this is the mouse really valve system of gas chambers. These are the status of mouse. Now it's in a normal 27.5 setting and uh, we'll be having another setup. We have to remove the setup and put play button place in normal a uh, larger setup so that it can give 40 kPa. Then only it can lift up. This is a weight. Normally you can see this weight decides when to lift up, which is compressing the membrane of this mouse. So when uh, you need to have 40 kPa setting, you need to put. When we are sailing now, uh, we have kept it into 27.5. This is a HC setup, and uh, when we want to put it to carbon mode, we will be putting another setup before arrival. That's now we are in carbon six, and uh, that's it. And uh, this seal should be intact. Be very important for this that we are not tampering any settings of this mouse. Only really we can change the setters that's allowed. Normally, US ports are not used to change the setting. And so, guys, this is mouse, you can see the size and all. We have overhauled it in the uh, right of and you know how it looks inside. Next thing, this is uh, when gas freeing, we need to vent out the uh, gas. We'll be putting gas through, we'll be connecting, opening this flange, and we'll be connecting to this so that you can put IG inlet and uh, sorry you have the during uh, gas being what you can put this is the line coming in with the paper line then you can put it to the tank and uh, we need to vent out so we connect this flange to this flange and this can be hit to the vent mask and you can vent out the gas inside cargo tank for gas being mandatory.